If you plan to drive your RV or trailer on a state-by-state -state camping road trip, you'll want to know the laws of each state. We RVers go to great lengths to choose an RV that meets our needs and budget. We learn to drive or tow them with care. We insure them, make sure they're registered and that we're abiding by all the laws. But one thing most of us don't give much thought to is that when we cross a state line not only might the traffic and driving laws be different than in our home states, but the legal specifications for our RVs might be different as well. These tips on regulations for RV laws and trailer by the state are intended to be helpful, but regulations change often and it is up to you to know and follow the law. So in this video we will talk about difference of each state with laws from the Department of Motor Vehicles in each state in regards to traveling and towing a camper or RV. Starting with Alaska. Motorhomes are limited in length to 45 feet and trailers are limited to 40 feet. The combined length is 75 feet while the height is 14 feet and width is 8.4 feet. Safety chains. Breakaway switch on towed vehicles trailers weighing over 3,000 pounds flares or reflective signs, brakes required on towed vehicles trailers weighing over 5,000 pounds are some equipments that you might require. Passengers are allowed to ride in pickup camper only. Overnight parking is allowed in state rest areas. All children under the age of 4, regardless of weight, must ride in a federally approved child safety seat while traveling. The maximum speed while towing a mobile home is 45 miles per hour. While Arizona shares the majority of laws with other states, some of them are unique to the Sunset State. It's wise to get familiar with them before you start your journey, in order to avoid situations where you might get fined or detained for a traffic violation that could have been evaded in the first place. Here are some of the main Arizona trailer laws you need to keep in mind when going on a road trip. The total length must not exceed 65 feet and this also applies even if you're triple towing. The trailer can be a maximum of 28.5 feet long and 8 feet wide. If you are driving a motorhome the maximum length is 45 feet while the permitted length is the same as trailers. The permitted height is 13 feet and 6 inches. You are allowed to triple tow in Arizona. In other words, you can pull up to a maximum of two units if you have a fifth wheel installed for additional stability and an extra pair of brakes on those units. The maximum allowed weight is 3,000 pounds. If you are towing a trailer and it is obstructing your view, the law states that you have to install additional mirrors that can reflect at least 200 feet of the road. This law also applies if you are towing two trailers. Any additional obstructions to the view of the driver are not permitted. As for lighting and reflective patches, they are a vital safety measure and very important for visibility on the road. If the trailer is 3,000 pounds it has to have clearance lamps installed on both the front and rear. Also, two rear and two front marker reflectors need to be mounted. The rear part of the trailer needs to have a stop light, license plate light, and turn lights. All of the above lights needs to be clean and visible for other drivers to see. They, of course, need to be fully functional otherwise a fine will be imposed on the driver in case they get pulled over. The main speed limit for RVs is 65 miles per hour, however, if there is a risk of trailer sway, it is recommended to reduce the speed down to either 50 miles per hour or lower if needed, in order to avoid any accidents. Riding in trailers is permitted but only if it does not exceed the number of people that can fit into the driver's car. There are three main types of roads, and they are usually divided into single lanes, double lanes, and highways with three or more lanes. When driving on any of these types of roads with a trailer, you need to drive on the right side and never exceed the speed limit. In most cases, if there is a long line of cars forming behind you when driving on single or double roads, the law states that you should pull over and let them pass you by. Drivers are allowed overnight parking in designated areas. As of 2017, there have been five main registered areas for overnight parking. The Sentinel which is located on Highway 8. The Burnt Well which is located on the Interstate Highway 10. The Texas Canyon is located on the Interstate Highway 10. The Sunset Point which can be found on the Interstate Highway 17. The Painted Cliffs which is located on the Interstate Highway 40. Motorhomes are limited in length to 40 feet. In some cases, those vehicles with lengths of 65 to 75 feet are permitted. 
There are many laws in California that pertain to anyone who's hitching and towing any kind of trailer, campers and fifth wheels included. Most of these are pretty straightforward, such as properly securing the towed unit and having brake lights. Your speed limit when towing is 55 miles per hour. You can actually have people riding in a towed camper, provided that they have a clear way out. You may need mud flaps installed in the back of your towed unit and possibly your truck too. No triple towing allowed. You can't tow your ATV or boat behind your trailer. Safety chain, breakaway switch, fire extinguisher in RV, flares or reflective signs, brakes required on trailers with gross weight over 1,500 pounds. Triple towing is not allowed except as follows. Non-residents may tow two trailers with a non-commercial license if their base state allows it. If the vehicle is commercial, the driver would also need a CDL and valid medical certificate. Passengers may ride in fifth wheel with audible or visual device with tow vehicle and safety glass and at least one exit can be opened from the outside and the inside. Passengers cannot ride in travel trailer. Passenger may ride in pickup camper provided passenger can communicate with drive and exit can be opened from both interior and exterior, or safety glass in window required. Seat belts are required. Parking regulations are almost always local. Each municipality has its own laws, based on the nature of the community. We've researched San Diego and Los Angeles but do keep in mind that the rules in one part of the state don't necessarily apply to another. What's more, Greater LA is made of many cities. Los Angeles City is just one of them. If you plan on traveling to these cities in the Golden State, check the local parking regulations first just to confirm the rules. Generally speaking, with a small discrete class BRV, you can usually park on the street, just like you would with any other van. With a large motorhome or a long-towed combination, your RV is more likely to stick out and attract the wrong kind of attention. You're unlikely to be able to park in residential streets, for example, unless you've been invited to do so by one of the residents. San Diego's federal judge made the decision to stop the passage of a municipal code that would have kept San Diego's residents from having the ability to live in an RV or another vehicle full-time. Had the code passed, it would have limited any person to use a vehicle while it is parked or standing on any street as either temporary or permanent living quarters. Now, residents here cannot have their vehicles impounded, nor can they receive tickets for living in their RVs. This doesn't mean San Diego doesn't have parking rules. Residents are banned from parking an oversized vehicle from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. One of the most popular cities in California, Los Angeles, of course, has its own restrictive set of RV parking rules. More than 7,000 LA residents have made their RVs or cars their home. Still, there are no laws accommodating these people like those you'd find in San Diego. Instead, from the morning and daytime hours of 6 a.m. through 9 p.m., you cannot be within 500 feet of a park, daycare, preschool, or a licensed school in your RV. Maximum RV width is 8.5 feet, maximum motorhome length is 45 feet, maximum trailer length is 40 feet, maximum RV height is 13.5 feet, and maximum combined length for two vehicles is 65 feet. Riding allowed in truck campers. Triple towing is not allowed. Safety chain, breakaway switch, fire extinguisher in RV, flares or reflective signs, brakes on gross weight towed vehicle or trailer of 3,000 pounds or more. Lights and wipers on during rain. Passengers are only permitted to ride in pickup camper only. Overnight parking is not permitted in state rest areas. Unless otherwise posted, 30 miles per hour in business and residential districts, and 55 miles per hour at any time at all other locations. Turnpike and other designated highways 65 miles per hour, except where posted 70 miles per hour. Motorhomes are limited in length to 45 feet and trailers are limited to 48 feet. Height is 13 feet 6 inches and width is 8 feet 6 inches. Combined length is 65 feet. Triple towing is not allowed. Safety chain. Brakes on trailer over 1,000 pounds unladen, 3,000 pounds laden. Lights, wipers must be on during required conditions. Riding is permitted in pickup camper only. Speed limit is same as passenger cars. Motorhomes and trailers are not permitted on the Taconic State Parkway. Trailers are not permitted on most parkways. LP gas is prohibited between Manhattan and Jersey City in the Holland Tunnel. Between Manhattan and Fort Lee, New Jersey lower level of the George Washington Bridge, I-95 South, and the George Washington Bridge Expressway between Manhattan and Weehawken, New Jersey, Lincoln Tunnel. 
LP gas is prohibited between Manhattan and Brooklyn on the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel and between Manhattan and Queens on the Queens Midtown Tunnel. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.